Hey, good afternoon, Dan. How are you? Doing great, and yourself? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. All right, thanks for joining me for Discover no UC. Are you sure you don't want me to drive? I, I think I got it. Okay. Just well, you know, you might be on the wrong side of the road if I let you Well, drive. that was the thing. I was going to give you an English experience <laughs> of how we do things and see how see what happens. You know, and I have to say, we're one of the, we're probably the most diverse campus in the state of West Virginia. We have students from 47 states and 45 countries, but of all that diversity, I have to say, you might have the best accent on campus. <laughs> I wouldn't let my players hear that. I think there's, uh, there's some competition. I have to, that's why I keep going back periodically to make sure I don't lose it. That's the thing. There you go. Like, do you have to practice in front of the mirror or anything like that? <laughs> I didn't know the charm of it works on you. I've got to be honest, but. <laughs> but uh, I'll the, take it. The things you learn about a exactly. college president, right? <laughs> So Dan, what was your journey coming to the United States and ultimately to UC? Yeah, uh, it's actually crazy to think um, it's 15 years, it'll be 15 years in August. Mm -hmm. And I've basically lived in West Virginia since then. Wow. Uh, couple of couple of gaps uh, in between. But um, the fondest memories I have are, are all from college. Mm -hmm. And I kind of really want that for my students now, to be honest, that, that they look back at some point and go, mm -hmm. you know, UC was the, the best four years of my life and, and the best experience I've had uh, up to that point. I was fortunate I had opportunities to, to, to play professionally both, both here in the MLS and uh, back in Europe for a little bit as well, but I was never really that good. So um, I'd take what I could get for the, the few years that I had it mm -hmm. and, and then just turn to, to, to coaching very, very quickly after that. Timing is everything and, and I came here and and lo and behold, things have, have worked out fantastically and, and the team's done really well. And, and I guess, like I said, the, the timing of things worked out so well, uh, just with how it correlated to the kind of success and the rise of the program. Mm -hmm. So you've had really great success with the program. We're always one of the top teams um, in our division and in our conference, uh, very competitive getting into the NSA tournaments at the end of the year. Uh, what are some of your formulas for success? I mean, when it, when it happens once, it could be a random event, but when it starts to happen on a recurring basis, there's some method to the madness. <laughs> uh, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and a Keurig in the office, maybe. There you go. No, I, um, again, I think sometimes it's, you can be fortunate with things. Uh, and as I said, the, that the program had been successful uh, or, was, or was ready to really make that transition into a national national level contender in 2014. And whether I'd have shown up or not, I still think it would have done very, very well. Um, but then you harness that and, and, you, and you take that to uh, another level, I would say. Every year I've been at the program, and that's, that's five years now uh, as either an assistant coach or head coach, there's a, the game evolves. And I think if you don't evolve with it, um, then you know your, your results could then potentially suffer so we're constantly trying to develop the program constantly looking at ways to improve so when you take that focus that you have on on the team and the players being part of the team and realizing uh, those types of goals and you start to distill it down to the individual player level um, as you think about um, young men who join your team um, what's your uh, what's your goal or your desired outcome for them when they're ready to graduate? That I, I wouldn't say that's my choice to make. <laughs> uh, I would say that's down to the individual. Uh, I think the the important thing for me, uh, and it's not lost on me because I, I went through the same experience being recruited. Um, I think it's it can be quite a singular goal, quite a narrow-minded vision when you first recruit a player that they're there to play soccer, and that's the most important thing in their life and maybe it has been up to that point and maybe it will continue to remain the focus so I, I, th I think sometimes it can be a very narrow-minded approach from the student athlete to make this decision to come to soccer what I hope they realize as I did over the course of four years is that you can broaden those horizons and opportunities come in different shapes and sizes uh, and you really don't know what direction you might go in and what you might become by the end of it I think that's the beauty of, of, of college athletics is 
there's very very few players that we recruit these days that don't tell me they want to they you know what do you want to be after graduation now they may have a major but most of them if they're honest tell you they want to be a professional soccer player mm -hmm. and that's nice it's good and, and you want that player you want that player who's ambitious within the sport again the, the reality is uh, that's a very very difficult thing to attain and to achieve but in the process of them trying to attain that you hope that they're also achieving success academically and integrating into the community and broadening their scope of friends and have an international address book by the time they leave us and, and little things of that nature and, and as I said quite quite honestly um, the way I reflect on my college experience as the best four years of my life making the best friends that I've made and um, the number of weddings that I've been to and different things like that since uh, and, and, and met those friends families and and you know watch them go through that process you know I built a group of, of people who are friends for the rest of my life and and that aspect of college I think is quite difficult to recruit on that pitch mm -hmm. but it's hopefully an evolution uh, and something that transpires over the over the course of their time with the program certainly well Dan I really appreciate your taking time out of your schedule no problem. to join me for Discover UC. Not at all. Wish you all the best the rest of summer and look forward to seeing you and your guys out there at uh, the Welch Athletic Complex in the fall. Thanks very much. All right, Dan.